Gonna be a quick video on the Rock Scale Designs Titanium Scales for the Benchmade Bugout. These are kind of old news, but uh, they just came out with a new run. And I'm gonna give you information on when the store is gonna open again. They're now offering. You know, they did make a gray blasted, which are these. You cannot anodize them. And then they made a sand blasted, which you could anodize them yourself. But they're also offering now a blue and a bronze anodized scales that they do themselves if you didn't want to mess with it. So the bug out, everybody knows about the bug out. There's the Ranger Green, the Grivery, Smoke Gray, Chromium Nitride Coated Blade. That one's 136 There's also a black one coming out that's going to be the same cost. The regular blue with the satin is 119 1.85 ounces. This version here with the Rogue Blade Works that I've already done a video on is the same weight. These go up one ounce when you add the titanium. So it's still only 2.8 ounces with the titanium on there. So here's some information on the Rock Scale Design. Store does open. You can see the last time I was going to make this video, I never got around to it. It was last month, right after my surgery. So July 20th, this, this Saturday, the store will open. And the way it works is they open up, they sell so many, and then they close it down so they don't want to get you know backlogged you know, so you don't wait six months. And they run 96 bucks. They also sell some scales for, uh, some, they're called Critter, where it's got some texture in it. They also have anodized backspacers that you can get for these. So... Uh, Right off the bat, I just want to say I think the bug out's one of the best knives for the money out there. Um, just a phenomenal knife with with these scales on there. You know, just the stock scales. And anybody that says otherwise, that it's not strong, or uh, I just think they're misinformed, or they, you know, it's not a knife you're going to baton, but just for a regular lightweight knife that works fantastic. It's got a great shaped blade, thin blade stock. I mean, you can't beat it. For a hundred bucks, you know, hundred thirty-six bucks for the, you know, for the coated blade. Then you add these scales, you know, for two hundred bucks, you're getting. I mean, these are perfectly machined scales. If you could see the inside, but they're completely milled out, and the way it changes the way the blade feels is phenomenal. These are all smooth on the inside, contoured. It just takes the knife to a whole nother level. I mean, it's a $200 knife now, obviously, but well worth it, in my opinion. And you're only getting the, the uh, you know, the weight penalty of one ounce. So this is the new one. And it's kind of cool. I, you know, I put this all together, and just the oils from my skin were already turning this. I'm colorblind, but it was turning it. It was hard to tell. almost looked bronze to me, but... These are just going to wear fantastic. I'm not quite sure about the blue backs, you know, the standoffs. I may end up buying one of their backspacers when the store opens this weekend just to, just to change the colors up. But it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful knife, you know, with that blue, at least in my opinion. You know, phenomenal, stellar, easy to do. Uh, you take off the clip. You know, take off, I leave this, this is the where the, uh, the inset liner bolts to the, f to the actual scale. So I leave these two on, take all the other screws off, take the screw out of the pivot, take one side off, put it back on, put the screws back in, push, I use a screwdriver or, or some round tube that's the same diameter, push it through, pop the pivot out, put the other scale on. And it is, it is keyed. You know, you're kind of holding right here and you push the pivot back in. You know, I put the blade at 90 degrees. Snug this up a little bit, tighten these two up, and then, you know, work your scales on there so your blade's centered. You know, but the action is just stellar. So I didn't know uh, 
if anybody had seen these or anybody done video with the blue, they're actually doing their own anodized. I think there's a bronze, like I said. They also are making uh, titanium scales for the Spider Copera 3, I think, and the Manix 2. Similar price. These aftermarket companies are just killing it in uh, you know the quality of their product, in my opinion. So the rock scale design, blue anodized titanium scales with the satin blade, the coated blade with the gray blasted titanium scales, and then the bug out with the road blade works carbon fiber scales. And uh, I don't know if anybody <laughs> went through the debacle today of the um, the DLT M390 Spyderco Paramilitary 2 in red. Um, I wasn't going to buy it, and I went to see how they did, and it, it, obviously the server crashed. So I came back like an hour and 15 minutes later, and it said add to cart, so I bought one anyway, so what the heck. But uh, kind of crazy, there's just pages and pages of pissed off people. So I hope uh, you guys that wanted one got one, and uh, you know th that you're happy with DLT because they are a good company. So anyways, have a good one.